Good morning, beautiful souls. Happy Friday. I hope the week has treated you all with love and kindness and that you are flowing towards the, the weekend with grace and ease. This is week 38, week 38 of the Woodland Chronicles. And um, I've picked my usual spot this morning, no walkie walkie. And um, it feels very different down here at the moment. There is a <coughs> distinctive autumn for with the, the mists are rolling in. The evenings are, are getting darker as of the mornings and um, well, in this particular hemisphere anyway. And I was, as I was wandering down to, to this spot, I was, um, I was distracted by a deer. And I was looking over and uh, trying to follow her with my eyes as I came to my my seating space here. And because I was so distracted and 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 desperate to see if I could I could catch her again, I sat in a massive pile of wet leaves. So I'm talking to you here with the wettest bum. <laughs> but life goes on, doesn't it? Onwards and upwards, and it kind of brings me into the theme of what I want to talk about this morning and it's something which if you followed me previously you're already going to be familiar with this kind of topic and maybe me beating this drum or maybe you might even hear the first few minutes of this and think oh god here he goes again you know and, and another kind of another another drumming about this particular subject but I want to talk about distraction because distraction is one of the keys to moving smoothly and effectively through this, or should I say lack of distraction. Lack of distraction, focus, diligence, intention, groundedness, self-mastery is, is the key to what we are going through at the moment on this this rocket ride from 3D to 5D. And one of the most effective tools of the 3D matrix, one of the, before, before I go any further, and I've, I've explained this in workshops on quite a few occasions, all of us, you, me, everybody else, unless you happen to be five years old and you're tuning into this channel, which if you are, hats off to you. Um, we were all born into 3D. We were born on this planet, active and willing participants of the school of the third dimension, knowing full well that during our incarnation, this particular incarnation, that we would be part of the most incredible, if not slightly experimental shift, okay? So we're shifting from 3D to 5D in 20 short human years. And we're exactly halfway through. If anything, we're just over halfway through. In the past decade, we've achieved phenomenal amounts. Is <laughs> that word again? I've, I remember posting the, the Muppet song on it the last night. The, 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 what we've achieved is nothing short of phenomenal. Okay, we've moved forwards so far. And we've implemented and anchored with so much fluidity and grace but it feels hard. It feels like a mess. Everything is going on. You, you'll never live on this planet as you are now in this time, space and vibration with more moving parts, okay? There's all of the facets of 3D, okay? The 3D matrix that you were born into, that you agreed to, that you signed up for, to experience, to flourish in, to grow in. And then you have the, the, moving, the moving picture of 4D. Now a fourth dimensional window that we are in at the moment is a space of change. Okay, it can be either a period of slow growth, um, if, you, if, if you happen to be in part of a system that's taking a longer time to step, make the steps that we're making. But we all agreed as part of like a, an elite team of high frequency souls 
to make this jump in 20 years. We know we can do it. We knew that when we signed up for it. And so all of us are just joining in to this incredible, the, this incredible jump shift that we're, we are together creating. We've built the foundation, we've built the base. Now we're building the structure. But one thing that is impeding our progress and one thing that does keep on coming up on a regular basis, and I suppose if you look at it from the wider perspective, it's a perfectly logical and excusable um, initiation, is the initiation of distraction. You know, the ability to take a high frequency soul capable of creating the most incredible things with, with focus, intention, manifestation, and get them and, and getting us to apply our attention elsewhere and with that and, and and the way that it is distracted and the way that we are pulled away from our point of high frequency focus is by showing us something juicy and interesting that appeals to our survival instincts makes us think well maybe that could happen to us oh my god there's this huge bigger picture going on and it's all against us and they've got the upper hand and we're we're going to be crushed and we're going to be we're going to lose and i'm not going to mention any names but there is one very particular soul who is prominently in the media circus at the moment and all eyes are on this situation not just all eyes but every single post that i have seen scrolling through my facebook has been upon this whether it is what do you think or whether it is outright statements of support and, and sol solidarity or whether basically saying beware beware you know like you know there's there's other things that we we don't know and other moving parts how much energy and attention and intention has this situation received how how much of our how much of our energy and our point of focus has been poured into this one thing, this, this one situation that has been presented to us that is close to many of our hearts, whether we are rooting for this person or whether we are dubious or a little bit suspicious or whether it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what, we've, what has happened is there has been an enormous amount of in, of emotional intention poured into this situation and where is it taking us what is it actually achieving okay by by being emotionally invested in this situation how is that serving us i need to ask this question because there will be more okay there will be more and many occasions where we are asked to provide our emotion and our intention and our incredible powers of manifestation for the purposes of harvesting by lower frequencies. So all of this anger, all of this outrage, all of this worry, all of this concern, all of this what if that's me next, is, it all gets put into a big juicy pool of energy that then, that then serves the means of the third dimensional matrix. But not only that, Whilst we are looking at that situation, while we are focused and tuned into that situation, what is going on behind the scenes? Okay, what is being implemented behind that situation that we are no longer looking at because our diligence, our intention and our focus is elsewhere? It's a classic, it's a classic example of why we need to be, I believe, and I'm sorry if I'm, I'm pouring my, my, personal, my personal feelings into this, but it's something that I feel very strongly. And as I feel that it is my responsibility to speak on terms of ascension guidance, this is very important because where attention goes, energy flows, and we are all powerful manifestors okay whatever emotion we are pouring into something it becomes a template of reality 
So all of a sudden we've got this multifaceted template of attention being poured into one thing that in, in, in all reality doesn't really concern us apart from the fact that it's happening to somebody who is very prominent that we know and maybe love, regardless of whether we, we feel that way or not. It's all gone in that direction. And in the meantime, the eye is off the prize. Our, our ball has gone into another goal and we are left not watching the situations that actually need our careful consideration and our attention. There are other things going on behind the scenes that are being implemented as a defence strategy by what we would, what I what I call, and what many others call, the third dimensional matrix, in an in an attempt to support its its destruction. Okay, to prevent it. So all of the time, all of the situations where you and I are waking up and we're becoming more aware, our light frequency is rising. We are reconnecting with our soul family, with our higher selves, with all of these beautiful light codes that are coming in. We are building faster than they can, they can sustain the, the collapse of where we were previously. But it only takes one major thing to move all of that attention away and the building stops or it doesn't exactly stop but it slows down considerably so at the moment there's been not so much of a, a blip but there has been a little wobble in the in the movement of the fifth dimensional flow of construction quite simply because so many of us have unplugged from where we should be and plugged into the current scenario the show the circus but that isn't going to stop what we're doing it's not going to impede us for any length of time because as with all of these situations as they present themselves they are simply lessons they are simply hurdles they are just something for us to navigate before we step back into the path of of the the, the flow but Something else I'd like to just ask, you know, I ask myself this on a daily basis and I'd like to ask everybody else as well. How does it feel when we, or how does it feel to you if and when you are distracted and your attention is poured into something else? You know, another thing in my particular neck of the woods, in my, in my beautiful country, the UK, another thing that's causing a lot of outrage and concern is the implementation of all of these kind of the clean air zones the charging and everything like that and that although it does give me a great sense of, of satisfaction to see that it is being dealt with it's being greatly resisted now the resistance is coming from a point of simply just saying no, a flat out no okay and this is what i've been talking about previously if we are going to stand in our sovereignty, if we're going to take control of our reality, if we are going to implement the changes that we need to, to, to move forwards with and build at a fifth dimensional frequency, things that do not resonate with us, we simply need to say a loving, heart-centered, but masterfully grounded no, okay? The power of that word, okay, has, has it has dissipated over the years because in many cases when you said no we got punished okay there is such a huge volume of consciously activated souls on this planet now all holding the mighty i am presence and beginning to learn how to respond and to live from the heart again that the word no now has a completely different resonance okay no means no OK, when we stand up and we say, no, this is not right for us and that we are going to live at a different frequency and a different consciousness and we are going to do the things that we know are correct. That no is an absolute. OK, so that's something that we will all be learning together to implement. OK, just flat out no. <laughs> and that's the one word. That's the one action or activity the peaceful, loving, heart-centered, grounded, standing in our power. That's the, that, that is the thing that ultimately collapses the old and builds the new. 
<clears throat> is such a powerfully simple process that many of us believe that it needs to be more complicated. I know that I did. And uh, previously when I was wondering how all this was going to turn out, when, when I was looking forward into the future, knowing that what was required of the going to be required of a civilization, how we were going to unwind ourselves from the control system that is currently still in place around the world and how we were going to move into the new one. And it's simply, the, the, the answer is so simple. We live by our hearts and we no longer adhere to anything that is out of alignment with that. Excuse me. <coughs> So, so that's how we do it. Although it sounds complicated, it is incredibly simple. We simply stand in our hearts and we say no. But most importantly, going back to my initial and my first point, is the, rem the remaining undistracted. And when something exciting crops up, when, when the newspapers and the media and social media and all channels are showing something that is designed to draw your attention to it stop and ask why why is that being shown why is everything on a on a on a on a structural level supporting that particular picture what purpose does it serve and most importantly what purpose would it serve us to emotionally invest into it especially when it di doesn't directly affect what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Of course, another thing that we are looking at at the moment with the, with the increase in the, <clears throat> the controls, the, 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 the kind of the attempts to stifle what is happening around this world, is the increased suppression of our ability to speak. But one thing which I'd like you to to just to try and notice if it's possible and it's been happening since 2012 but more so in the last three years or so whenever something has been attempted by what we would what we would call the third dimensional matrix whenever something is put into place to stop or to to basically impede our process or to suppress the expression of heart-centeredness around the world it ultimately fails okay it might look like it comes into action it might it might have what you call like strong hairy legs running fast towards the, the <laughs> to fast towards the finish line but alter it trips up every time and it stops or you could another analogy i like using is a box of fireworks a big expensive box of fireworks that somebody's trying to light in the rain and you know, you can light a couple of the blue touch papers and they start fizzing and, and, and making all the, doing all the firework thing and then the rain puts it out, okay, before the real show gets going. And that is happening again and again and again. And that is more than enough for us to understand, I believe, that what we're doing is working. And there is a, energetically, you know on a on a on a human level that might sound like a, it might sound quite complicated because there is just such an overwhelm of things that we could be worried about at the moment but there's also so much beauty and positivity coming in i will explain it energetically quickly where we are now is a totally different frequency than 10 years ago it's a totally different frequency than it was six months ago. But a decade ago, or two decades ago, the energy structure of our reality was completely different. We've now moved into a moving, almost a liquid reconstruction of our reality, using our intention, using what's coming in from the cosmos, but mostly activating a gold print a pre-existing gold print that, 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 that has been contained within each and every one of us and also the, the planetary structure. And having now moved into that, it's energetically 
I would say almost impossible for the third dimensional structures to take effect. Okay, so they cannot be fully implemented in this new reality. The words can be spoken, the frameworks can be put in place, the money can be spent, the intention and the fear can be put out there, but ultimately they can never survive as a structure because where we are now, and particularly where we're going in the near future, simply does not allow for those to take place. And that picture was shown to me 10 years ago, 20 years ago, that we would experience many things that looked as if it was going to create impossible situations for us, but ultimately they would only be a picture show. They become reality when we invest in them, okay? When we bring our intention and our manifestation and ultimately our fear and put them into that picture and help build it because we are the master manifestors, okay? And ultimately that manifestation, that flow, that focus, that point of love is what grows so rapidly our pathway on this ascension process. So once again, I close this by sending love from my heart to yours. Stay focused on what you want to create. Stay focused on what you want to see in the world. By all means, look at the pretty pictures, but don't invest in them unless they actually serve your future purpose. Be very discerning about what it is that we are building together. And that is all from me and I'll be back on Monday. Tomorrow I have the joy of being part of the Soul Ascension Workshop in Weymouth. Um, if you haven't signed up and you're feeling tempted to do so, you'll be in for a lovely day and I'll put the details of, of what I am participating in tomorrow underneath this video. So if you are local and you fancy a cracking day out, please come along. Lots of love. Bye for now.